Hello. I'm very happy here to introduce you to the Adidas Executive Dashboard. It's a trademark. It's a special dashboard for top executives and managers on all levels to be able to monitor what's going on in the company. Why is it important? Because when the company grows bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, it becomes more and more confusing. <laughs> and the information does not flow. There is a lot of data, by the way, a lot of numbers. But information is data for decision making. And they have a lot of data, but not information. We don't actually, one of the biggest complaints of companies that are growing fast is that the top executives complain we are not having information. We increasingly don't know what is going on. Eventually, the organization becomes what's called in systems theory, a black box. We don't know what's happening inside. All we know is what's coming in, what's going out. At that point in time, management manages only by ratios. Profit margin, earnings per share. They look at the input versus output. How did they get there? They don't have the slightest idea. They only look at the bottom line. And the danger is then when they try to increase the profitability, the efficiency of the organization, they don't know what to cut. So typical answer is cut expenses across the board, 30%, downsize, very dangerous. It will be like taking a person who is overweight, he gets on the scales, is 10 kilos too heavy, so they say, you know what, cut one foot off, now the numbers look good, very dangerous, undesirable. This Adidas executive dashboard should give you the capability to actually know what's going on in your company throughout the company to the bottom and make decisions then intelligently based on information that you will get on your computer. How do we do that? Let me just tell you what you will get. It is like a blood test. You go to the doctor, it takes a blood test, and then they look at the results and tell you too much cholesterol, too much sugar, uh, you have a problem with your heart. You, same thing here. We are going to have on one page, on one page, once you know how to do it, you will be able to know whether your company, whether strategy is aligned to structure, whether your structure is capable of delivering your strategy, you should know how controllable is every unit in the company. Or is it not under control? The tolerance is very bad. You should know who is responsible for every ruble, every dollar, every kopeka, anything that goes to the company. As a matter of fact, you will even be able to identify, I'm sorry to tell you that, if there is any stealing, it will be easier to audit your company. You should be able to know from looking at that page if there is teamwork in that unit, every unit from the bottom up. Is there teamwork or there is no teamwork? Just imagine, is the structure and strategy aligned? Is there teamwork? Who is responsible for every dollar that gets into the system or gets out of the system. So if there is a problem, you know exactly whom to call. Accountability, you know whom to call to explain what's going on. You should be also know from that one page if that unit, a branch, a branch of a bank, a branch of a retail store, all the way somewhere in Siberia, if it's losing money, why it's losing money? Is it losing money because it is not operating efficiently or because there is some unbelievable overhead 
that is killing the company. They're trying very hard, but it is a central government that is very expensive. The system in one page should enable you also to know whether you are motivating your people sufficiently. On one page. It's like a test of your health of the organization. It should also tell you whether you are too bureaucratic. You are getting too bureaucratic. It's time to reorganize the company. So you have early warnings before it becomes too late. On one page. Let me show you how. Here is a page. Ready? You have the name of the unit. Then you have something called DFS, which means distance from the source. Source is the lowest level profit center you have in your company, which reports several profit centers down there reporting to a higher profit center. Several, several higher profit centers report to a higher profit center. Several division profit centers to a strategic business unit. Several of them to the company. Here is a rule. No company, I don't care how big it is. In a business institute, we organize companies with 750,000 people. Big enough, eh? I don't care. You cannot have more than seven layers. If it says distance from the source, more than seven, it's a warning. Time to restructure because you're getting too far away from the source. Too far away. It's like water coming from Earth, and if it's too far from the ocean, by the time it comes to the ocean, poop, there is nothing left. It tells you the color of the unit. Is it a profit center? Is it a cost center? Is it a service center? You want to have as many profit centers as possible. The more profits, the better. Why? The more people do not sleep at night worrying about profitability, the more profitable the company will be. God forbid only the president of the company worries about profitability. All the rest are sleeping very well. You have a problem. This will tell you, are you vital? How green is your organization? And our, we have cases. By increasing the greenness of the organization, profitability has grown even 60%. Can you imagine that? Just by making the organization green. Making more people responsible for profitability. Then the name of the person responsible for that unit. And when you look at the organization structure, Every box in that structure must have a page. Now, this is not instead of your accounting system. I repeat, not instead of your accounting system. We do not mess around with your accounting system, please. This is sacred. We mine the data to produce this report. We mine the data to produce the report. And then when you look at this report, you say, oh my God, I have a problem. What is the problem? Because accounting does not always tell you what the problem is. I repeat, accounting does not tell you. It tells you cost accounting. It tells you how much money you spend. Bravo. Who is responsible? And if the company is not doing well, who is responsible? This will tell you. You know exactly who in the company is responsible for every ruble? You should be able to look at the top page, which is your page. Then you have those units that report to you appearing on that page. Look at it. Contribution of this green unit, contribution of this green unit, contribution, contribution. The contribution from here goes here. Then you have your red units, the units that are costing money, not producing money, costing money. Cost of, cost of, cost of marketing, cost of engineering, cost of this, cost of that. And now what do you have there? The numbers. What they're supposed to contribute or cost for the year. 
And you have something else very interesting. Look at the last column there, called alert. What is alert? When you do the budget, look at the budget, blue book. You have a column, which means how much tolerance do you expect that that number will have? How much tolerance? And what is it function of? How much uncertainty there is? If it's a new unit, a baby, uncertainty is very high. You might say tolerance 30% because I really don't know. In a unit that is very predictable and you really know and doesn't have too much, you know, transitions, you might say I don't want whatever I budget for, more than 5% will be undesirable. So when you get actual versus budget, if it is beyond tolerance, it will have an alert. So when you open your page, what do you look at? You look at the column called alert, and if you have a star there, means that unit has a problem. Then you start drilling. You click on it, and it opens the page of that unit. And that page has now its contributions and costs, and its own alerts. And now you look at that alert, you drill again, go deeper, 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 until you find exactly where the problem is. The organization becomes transparent. It's not a black box anymore. It's a very clear water. You can see for miles exactly where the problem is. How do you know strategy versus structure? Because here in the P column, contributions and costs, you have an I column tells you the percentages of each line. So if you see that this strategic unit is 80% of your revenue and the next one is only 5%, is that your strategy? Look at the percentages. What do you want every unit to be in the totality of your portfolio? What do you want your expenses to be? And by the way, you have another column there, look at it, P-A-E-I. You should ask the question, why am I spending that money? For P purposes, A, E, or I? And then you monitor over time. Is your A growing too big and E going down? That shows you that the company is aging. So you can continuously monitor, where am I on the life cycle? Am I losing my vitality because my E is going down at the cost of A? Too much bureaucracy. You can catch it early. It's like a blood test. You can touch, catch the incoming heart attack before the heart attack occurs. You compare who is responsible for what to what you're trying to achieve. And if you cannot put a name next to a line, what does it tell you? You're not structured to deliver what you want. Accounting system does not tell you that, you see? Accounting system says total revenue, total expenses. But who is producing that revenue? Who is producing that expense? Where are the profits coming from? Which is not producing profits? Who is not producing profits? We don't really know. We do cost accounting. But cost accounting still does not tell you who is responsible. And you want to have everybody responsible. So how is a page? Look at it again. The first column is your accounting ledger. From where in the accounting system do we derive the information to produce this report? Thus, we do not mess around with your accounting. We only mine the data. And what happens if the accounting data is not organized to give you the information you need? Very important to know that. You might have to change your accounting system because it does not give you the information you want. Or you might change the structure. That's fine. But the structure, the information have to be aligned. If the information is not aligned with the structure, then you don't know what's going on. You don't know who is supposed to deliver what, when, how. As a matter of fact, you want 
the mission strategy aligned with structure, aligned with information, aligned with the reward system. And you have the reward system in this page as well, on the same page. Look at the bottom. You have contributions or sales, revenues, whatever coming into the system, minus what's going out of the system, outflows, contributions, directly controllable. That's above the line, directly controllable. And below the line are all these allocations, what the accountants call account <laughs> allocations. We call them sharing. Sharing of corporate expenses. Your share of corporate expenses. And what is the bottom line? Profits before profit distribution. We call it shareholding. Uh, in other words, you have to be gain sharing. You have to share the gain. You might not want to do that, that's fine. But I suggest to you, you look into it. Because if you do gain sharing, what they contributed, there's going to be high motivation for them to increase the profitability. So you as the owner, you give them something, so they try to get something for themselves, and in doing something for themselves, they do for you. We are now partners, not in equity, but you want the workers, everybody in the company, every manager to the bottom of the line, behave like an owner. Behave like an owner, save money on cost, increase revenues, be motivated. You can see it on the page. Are you sharing? And you know what's going to happen? Let me show you what's going to happen. Because they share at the bottom, they're going to put a tremendous pressure on the overhead allocations to be minimized. Today, they have no reason to push. Today, they don't have any reason to say, give me less expenses. What the hell do they care? In this model, they are going to put pressure, say, hey, why, why, why am I paying for it? Look at how it's done. It's in three levels. Influence level, bitch level, which means complain level, level two, and forget it level. What is influence level? Your share of the overhead expenses at your level, you are here, and here you have partners, other units that are red partners, cost expenses, cost organizations, costing money, that you have to share their cost. That's influence level. Why influence level? Because they're in the same unit. <laughs> they're very close to you. You should be able to say, hey, guys, I really don't need this. I don't need that. Why are you charging me for that? Second level is called Bitch level, complain level, why? This is your share of the cost on a higher level than you. One higher level than you. But now you have to complain to your boss to say, hey, I don't need these expenses so much. And anything else is called forget it level. So when I look at the profitability of a unit down there, a branch, I look how much is controllable by them. Then, if the profits are too low, is it because they are not controlling profitability? Or is it because of the overheads? Is it influence level? Is it complain level? Or is it forget level? If it's forget level, what do you want from the poor guy? What can you do? He's doing his best because it's above the line. What is controllable by him or her? But here is a trick. Because it is drilling, what is complaint level here becomes influence level here. And what's forget level here becomes influence level. So it is getting higher and higher. By the time the president of the company looks at expenses, overhead expenses, everybody else from below is looking at it and telling him, what do we need? what we don't need. Because the problem with overhead expenses, there is no control. Who is controlling it? The president. Do you really know what's needed? Who should control it? The ones that are using it. They're going to tell you, I need it or don't need it. But what happens if they say, I don't need it. I don't need training. I don't need advertising. Because they want to increase profitability. 
you can say as the manager, I want it. That is the two columns at the bottom. Is it sharing, which I agreed to pay for it, or is it taxation? My boss told me to pay for it. That tells you how much teamwork there is. If all the overhead is in taxation, means people are resenting the costs. If all the expenses of the overhead are in the sharing, which means you're not imposing anything. People say, I need it, I want it, let's go. Teamwork. I repeat, from distance from the source, you will know how bureaucratic are you. From the colors, you will know how vital are you. From the columns of P and I, you will know whether your structure and strategy are aligned. What is above the line is controllable. What's below the line is not controllable. Now you know if a company, if a unit is losing money, is it their fault or is it maybe corporate fault? From sharing versus taxation, you will know how much teamwork there is. From gain sharing, you will know how much motivation there is on one page. I have clients. Very rich clients. Not me, the Institute. Many clients. But this specific one I'm thinking about, he spends three months a year on his yacht in the Mediterranean. Every morning, he opens the computer, looks at his top page. If there is an alert, he clicks to see what's happening in that unit. If there is alerts in that unit, it clicks further to find out all the way what's happening in a branch in Guatemala. And the last column there is the name of the person and his telephone number. Click, the telephone clicks there, it says, Hello, Jose, what's happening this week with your company? How would you like to be so much in control? Thank you very much.